All right, third graders, in math we are starting a new unit on time. And today we're going to focus on telling time to the nearest hour. I hope a lot of you already have um, expert advice or expert awareness on how to tell time to the closest hour or to the nearest hour, but just in case, uh, this video will definitely help you. We want to be thinking about the clocks that we have around our house and the clocks that we have at school. Most of you are probably used to looking at a digital clock, but we want to be referring to an analog clock at school when telling time. And if you think back to the clock that we had in our classroom, it is also an analog clock, okay? All right. So here we are, telling time to the nearest hour, and I'm probably going to have to attempt to possibly scroll up on my screen, but now that I just tried, it's not letting me. So we might be stuck with this, but that's okay. All right, if you look at the clock, you see two hands. The green one, which is the longer of the two, is called the minute hand. The red arrow is pointing to the three, and that's called the hour hand, and it is the shorter of the hand. The way that you can keep these two straight is that minute is longer than the word hour. So the minute hand is always going to be the longest, and the hour hand is always going to be the shortest. It's a good way to keep which one is which. All right. This I actually already told you, so I'm going to skip over this slide. Moving on. Okay, whenever the minute hand is pointing to the 12, it's always going to be o'clock. The hour hand in this case is pointing to the 3. So the way that you read this is 3 o'clock. Now, the, I know you can't see it, but you can infer that what's after four, five. So the hour hand is pointing to the five this time instead of the four. So what time would it be? It would be five o'clock. Okay, let's try this time. What time is it now? Say it out loud. You are correct. The hour hand, which is the red one, is pointing to the one. So it is one o'clock. Okay, another hour went by. So what time is it now? Go ahead and say it. You are correct. The hour hand, which is the red one, is now pointing to the two. So it is two o'clock. Just remember that the long hand is the minute hand. It's obviously not going to always be green, but in this case, it is always going to be the longest, okay? And in this case, it is green. And the short hand, which is going to be the hour hand, is always going to be shorter than the minute hand. In this case, the hour hand is red, but it's not always going to be red. So keep those things in mind, and you can rewatch this video if you need to, but now that should help you to finish the worksheet that I have for you on Google Classroom or on your learning from home template. Okay, enjoy!